What's going on everybody? This is Game of Dad. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do a corner or a hairpin, whatever you want to call it. I have three that I like to use for my blueprints. This first one is a long turn corner. And all I do is grab some of these asphalt props and stack them on top of each other while turning at the same time. What you want to do is layer them on top of each other and then smooth them out as, as smooth as you can. Now it's never going to be perfect, but you always want to run the card through make sure that it's pretty smooth and, you know, to your liking. You can also widen them a little bit, just as you saw earlier. Just copy and paste, move the prop a little bit, and now let's get to a hairpin. For sharp hairpins, I like to use this platform right here. This one's a little bit trickier to place, but if you're not a doing an incline it actually works pretty good if you're doing a little bit of an incline it works but if it's too steep it just will not work it'll be way too bumpy and it will just be horrible it's pretty much the same thing all over again just copy and paste or layer them on top of each other and make them as smooth as possible it's a lot harder than it looks it just takes some practice as you can see here I keep moving them up and down up and down until I get it to where I want them if you can't get it right away, don't be discouraged. Just keep doing it. Replace them if you need to. Move them around. You'll get it. And I'm going to show you guys how to do a different kind of hairpin. This is mostly just props layered on top of each other. And then I like to use the walls to cover up the part of the road I don't want shown and basically form a curve with the walls. Now this one, based on how you layer these props down, you can actually form a bit of an incline. As you can see here, I'm gonna start placing these on the sides at a little bit of an angle. And as you can see, it'll start form a bit of an incline. That way when your car hits these angled walls or props, whatever you call them, it'll start to go downward. Make sure you cover up any gaps or cracks that you see on the road. And now the next part is gonna be the walls. As you can see, I'm gonna start placing these walls to form the curve itself. So you use some of these curved walls and straight walls to create the corner. I like to use the pillars to give it a nice look on the inside of this corner here. Now right here, I don't know what I was thinking. There's a weird placement for these walls, but um, I'm just gonna go with it. Next, you wanna grab some bushes and just cover up the rest of the asphalt here. I should warn you though, that if you're gonna do this, make sure you do this last. If you have any other props placed down like trees or signs, and then you wanna copy and paste the trees or the signs while you have all these bushes down, it'll only pick up the bushes for some reason. I've done this and I had to literally delete all my bushes so I can place down my trees and my signs and anything else I want to do because for some reason when you copy and paste and there's bushes around it only picks up the damn bushes. Now you don't have to do this in between hairpins but I like to do it sometimes just grab a tree and flip it upside down. It just helps with the visibility so you can't see what's on the other side if you want to do blind corners or stuff like that. Let's go ahead and finish up this track. Just gonna finish up these bushes, put a couple more trees down, maybe some lights, and then we're gonna do a final test run.
Whether you guys have it, that is how I make my hairpin turns or the corners for some of these toge tracks I build, blueprints. This could work for any kind of track that you're building. I hope this helped anybody out there trying to make some of these corners. I know they are kind of hard sometimes to recreate or build a good toge track or any kind of racing blueprint. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. If it helped you out in any way, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe, all that good stuff. Thank you for watching my video. Have a great day.